This is Katherine Nightingale of Chattanooga State Community College, and this video is for Linear Algebra, Section 1.5, Solving a Homogeneous System of Equations. Homogeneous means that every equation in the system is equal to zero, so it can be expressed as the matrix equation AX equals zero for some given matrix A. In order to work through this topic, I'm going to use the example from WebWork, section 1.5, number 3. We're given matrix A and asked to describe all solutions of the homogeneous system AX equals 0. Now, in order to do this, A is our coefficient matrix, and so what we want to do is think about the equivalent system um, to the matrix equation AX equals 0. And that comes from taking the entries of A and using them as coefficients of our variables. So, the matrix equation AX equals 0 is equivalent to the system where we take the first row of A and we get 1x1 minus 1x2 plus 2x3 plus 2x4 plus 3x5 minus 5x6 equals 0. Notice that the coefficients on the x's are exactly the numbers that you see in row 1 of A. I do this for the remaining rows and I get 1x3 plus 5x4 minus 5x6 equals 0 from the second row and then x5 plus x6 equals 0 from the third row and then just 0 equals 0 from that last row. Now, step one is to put the system into an augmented matrix with A on one side and then the augmentation and then your zero vector. So I just put it into this matrix and then step two is to get the matrix into reduced row echelon form. Now you can do this on your calculator fairly quickly and so we get the reduced row echelon form as given. 1, negative 1, 0, negative 8, 0, 2, 0 0, 0, 1, 5, 0, negative 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and then a row of all zeros on the bottom. Okay, now our next step. Step 3 is to identify the free variables and also translate each row of the matrix into an equation. So here's my matrix in reduced row echelon form. Remember that each column is associated with one variable. So I have x1, x2, all the way through x6, each associated with a column. Now I start by identifying my pivots. So these three are pivots, and so there's pivots in columns 1, 3, and 5. Now I want to identify my columns with no pivots. 2, 4, and 6, and there's no pivots in columns 2, 4, and 6, so x2, x4, and x6 are free. Now, I want to translate row 1 into an equation. So I use the coefficients in the matrix, and I get x1 minus 1x2 minus 8x4 plus 2x6 equals 0. Doing this with the rest of the rows, I get x3 plus 5x4 minus 5x6 equals 0 using the appropriate coefficients from my matrix and x5 plus x6 equals 0. Next step is to write each variable in terms of the free variables. So here's my system that I got from the last slide, my equations. What I'm going to do is that first line, I'm going to move everything to the right. So I get x1 equals 1x2 plus 8x4 plus 2x6. x2 is free, 
So I'm just going to set it equal to itself. x2 equals 1x2. From my second equation involving x3, I get x3 equals negative 5x4 minus 5, or plus 5x6. Notice that I'm lining up the free variables in columns. x4 is free, so I'm setting it equal to itself. So I get x4 equals 1x4, and I line it up in the x4 column. And then x5 equals negative 1x6 from that third equation. And then x6 equals itself, because it's a free variable. So each free variable is set equal to itself. Now, my next step is to fill in the blanks with zeros. So everywhere there's a blank in my equation, I'm going to put a zero. And now I actually have my solution. I'm asked to give my solution in parametric vector form. So I'll have three vectors because I have three variables. So what I do is I look at my x2 column, my x4 column, including the negatives, and my x6 column. These are my solutions, and I just put them into the solution box, and it's solved. This form is called parametric vector form, and the way it works is you have each free variable showing up in your solution multiplied by its appropriate coefficient for x1 through x6. So notice back here we had our coefficients on x2 were 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And so in our first vector I have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. x4 if you look back 8, negative, 8, 0, negative 5, 1, 0, 0. So that's my second vector. And my third one corresponds as well. So those are the five steps for writing a solution to a homogeneous system in parametric vector form.